Greetings all and welcome to episode 6 on Ami Broker. Continuing our series on Ami Broker, in today's video, we are going to talk about a special feature of Ami Broker called as a scanner. Now there are two ways in which you can scan in Ami Broker. One is using the inbuilt scanner and another is an explore section. In this video, we are going to talk in detail about scanner and explore. We are also going to compare the difference between scan and explore and why one should use scan or explore. And also I am going to teach you how you can create multiple scanners or multiple explores together and run all of them at a time in Ami Broker. So let's start with understanding the scanner in Ami Broker. So scanner as the name suggests shows you the entry and exit signals for the selected duration. That means using scanner you will come to know which particular stock has given you entry and exit and at what time. Also the use of scanner is that it can help you show live entry and exit when you run the scanner in an automated mode. So whatever are the latest entries and exit using your strategy on your watch list those live entry and exit can be visually seen in the scanner section. And the best part about scanner is that you can run either on individual script or on watch list and on any time frame. You can run a scanner on conventional time frame or on unconventional time frame and even automate your trading system. Let me take you directly to Ami Broker to explain you in detail about this. So on my Ami Broker, I have this basic strategy of moving average crossover. Now if I want to know what are the stocks that have generated EMA crossover entry or exit today. I can easily do it using scanner option in my Ami Broker. So let me take you there first. To go to scanner, you can go to analysis. Now there are again two types of analysis, old automatic analysis and new analysis. In our last few videos, I've already spoken enough about old automatic analysis. In today's video, I'm going to show you the same in new analysis. The structure of both the analysis is almost same. It is just that new analysis does the processing faster than old automatic analysis. So going to new analysis, this is the analysis window. Here I am going to select EMA crossover AFL, I'll open it and I'll go to the parameters. This is the parameter box. I'll select my settings 20 and 50 moving average, 1% target, 1% stop loss, intraday mode on, I've done few settings. And now I am going to start with say scanning only current symbol. So if I want to scan only current symbol, I'll go to apply to and here I'll just click on current. When I click on current, whatever current symbol that I have selected that will be scanned. And if I want to scan only for today, I can go to range. In range, I have multiple option. All codes basically means it will scan the entire data from the past. One recent bar, that means the latest candle. One recent day, that means only today. And from and to date, then I can select a specific time, from time and to time, in that time frame, it would, it would scan. For now, let us say we'll go to one recent day and then click on scan. The moment I click on scan, you can see that RT India, I've selected RT India. So today it had a shot at 11, 10 AM. There was only one entry generated in RT India and that was also at 11, 10 AM. If I want to cross verify, I can go to my broker terminal as well. So here I have chart of RT India and in the studies, I am going to put moving average 20 and 50. So I have 20 and 50 moving average and, and clearly we got only one shot and that was around 11, 10 here and post that there is no entry. Similarly, if I want to run the scanner on my entire watch list, I can also do that. So if I go to select a filter in the filter, if I select a watch list, for example, I have a watch list named futures in which I have 146 stocks. Now when I click on OK and then if I click on scan, now it will give me the signals on all the 146 stocks traded today. So you can see today there are number of rows is equal to 262. That means there are 262 trades triggered in my watch list since morning till now. And similarly, if I want to just check the latest entry and exit, I can do that in the range. I just have to select one recent bar. That means it will only give you trades on the latest candle. 
So if I select one recent bar and click on scan, Nestle and India, and you can also cross check with your broker, it would give you correct entry and exit itself. The entry would match. Similarly, for example, if I want to continuously run the scanner, I can also do that by going to the settings. Beside setting, there is this small arrow. Click on this small arrow and there you have an option called as auto repeat. So I'll click on this auto repeat. That's it. Now again, I'll click back on this arrow and I will define the auto repeat interval. Suppose say I want to check this scanner for every single second. I'll just type one. S E C one second and hit the enter button. You have to hit the enter button. And now when I click on scan, you can see the scanner is running automatically every single second and it is generating buy and sell every single second. So latest buy and sell you can see continuously with this continuous scanner. So this is the advantage of scanner. And when we will automate our trades, we can run this scanner and attach this scanner with the automation tool. So this scanner will keep continuously pushing entry and exit and these entry and exit will be automatically executed with your broker terminal as well. So this is why scanner is one of the most important feature of AMI broker. Going ahead, use of scanner as discussed, it triggers trade in live market if connected via broker API. When we will connect AMI broker with the broker terminal in our upcoming lessons, we will do that. You will see that the trades are automatically getting executed with your broker terminal. Also, you can attach email alerts as well. So if you're on the go and if you have an algorithm running on AMI broker, you can set email alerts as well. These email alerts will shoot emails to you whenever a particular buy or short signal is generated. And based upon the emails, you can then manually place trades if you want to do manual trading as well. And also scanner helps you understand total entries and exit in a specified time frame. And this is also again use, used for advanced research. So in my example, I've shown you that today in the entire day, we got around 260 odd trades in 140 script ka watch list. Similarly, you can also understand how many total entry and exit your strategy is generating over a specified time frame. If you want to build or construct a logic which is taking care of brokerage, taxes, slippages, then of course total entries for a specified time frame also becomes very very important. You can add that by using the scanner. Here is how you have you can run a scanner from on your AMI broker. First, you have to code buy, sell, short, and cover in your AFL. If your strategy has only long or only short concept, it can still be scanned. Suppose say in your AFL you have just defined buy and sell or short and cover. No need to worry, you can still scan your AFL and once you code buy, sell, short and cover logic in your AFL, only add that AFL in the analysis window and click on scan. That's it. There is no extra coding needed to scan an AFL. AMI broker has an inbuilt engine. In the EMA crossover that I've attached and scanned just now, you might have seen that I have not added any extra line of code. The inbuilt engine automatically scans and generates buy and sell signal. You can also check and verify the scan result and report. As I've shown you, I've compared the EMA crossover of Arte India on AMI broker with my broker to just tally if the data is correct or not. You can also do this and check and verify the scan result. It is very, very important in the long run. After scan, the next topic that we are going to discuss is explore feature in AMI broker. Now remember scan and explore are almost same, but explore is a little superior than scanner. Well, in explore, you can do some advanced calculation. Now, as we go ahead, I'm going to talk about that also. First of all, explore is an advanced and powerful feature compared to scan that helps you generate entry and exit signals in real time but also has a lot of customization option. In scanner, there is no scope of customization. Scanner will just tell you where the entry and exits have triggered. That's it. You cannot use that data to do any type of calculation. But in explore, you can actually do some additional customization as well. Second, number of columns can be managed in explore report. In scanner, you cannot manage the number of columns. 
well in but in explore you can manage the number of columns let me take you back to ami broker again you can see the auto scanner is already running notice the number of rows you have symbol trade date and close if i stop this to stop the scanner i'll just go back here and disable the auto repeat that's it now you can see that i have only four columns symbol trade date and close symbol trade date and close these are the four values that the default inbuilt engine of ami broker will provide you that means your ami broker will tell you in which symbol the trade has come what type of trade is it is it buy sell short or cover at what date what time and what was the candle closing price but it will not tell you at what price the buy has come or at what price the sell has come or at what price the short has come or at what price the cover has come it is just giving you time and the candle close value it is not giving you the exact value at which your buy sell short or cover was triggered also it is not telling you whether uh, your trade was profitable or not right so all the other details are missing in the inbuilt scanner option you cannot do any additional settings in the scanner scanner has limited option these are the only four things that the scanner will show you and if i click on explore next to scan there is a button called as explore you will see no result but if i click on scan scan is giving you multiple result but if i click on explore there is no result why because we have to do additional coding to generate the result in explore section there is the explore section will not run by default the engine will not run by default to run the explore engine you need to code in your afl so i'll just show you few lines of coding in the explore section that i'm going to do and what difference it creates on the explore report so this is the ema crossover afl that i'm already having and in the lesson 5 we have seen the backtest engine so i've already added the backtest engine after adding backtest engine i will just add explore engine i have already created a template for explore engine i'll just paste it here so this is the explore engine i'll just zoom in so this is how the explore engine is written to add additional column in your explore section you can use this add column function just use this add column function and additional code additional columns will be added so what are the additional column that i have added buy price short price cover price and sell price next what is the entry price what is the exit price and what is the profit i have already coded the logic for profit profit is nothing but pr and for pr i have given a logic that if it is sell sell price minus buy price is the profit and if it is cover then short price minus cover price is the profit so ep represents entry price xp represents exit price i have just coded this small code and then when i click on apply close the afl come back to analysis and now when i'll click on explore you will see there are number of columns increased apart from buy uh, buy ticker date time signal you have entry price exit price and profit as well you can clearly see in rt we made a profit of minus 10 that means we made a loss in nestle we made a loss of 1 rupee and in tata chemical we made a loss of 1 rupee so just by using this explore section i can come to know how many trades were profitable how many trades were loss making what was the actual profit and loss but when i go to scan well scan will only give me four things symbol trade date close that's it but when i go to explore explore will give me more details why why is it giving me more detail because i have coded apart from this i can also keep adding more and more columns and i can fetch the values right on the explore section itself so that is why explore is more superior than scan so i said number of columns can be managed in the explore report any additional report or figure can be generated in real time with explore just now we have seen how i have added pnl report in the explore report as well so again to summarize scan versus explore scan has only four columns in scan report in explore user can customize any number of columns in scan only candle close price is visible whereas in explore if a user wants any ltp be it entry price exit price sell price cover price everything can be shown in the report in scan there is no scope for advanced calculation but in explore even advanced calculations can be done very very easy that's it for today 
in the next lesson we will talk about optimization what is optimization and why do we need it what are the types of optimization engine inside ami broker which will help us make our optimization quickly and as said we will also talk about why optimization is needed and we will take an example and we will optimize a strategy make it more profitable and then check the back test report after optimization then we will summarize the entire concept of what all we have learnt on ami broker from episode 1 all the way till episode 7 thank you so much for watching this video spread knowledge cause it's free and if you like our content do like subscribe and share it with your friends and family and i'll see you in the next video